it has been an exciting week with .NET 6 launching, Visual Studio 2022 launching, and .NET MAUI Preview 10. Oh, and .NET Conf all happening this week. It's so much excitement. I'm going to break it all down for you today as we explore .NET MAUI Preview 10. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James and I'm back with another .NET MAUI preview video. And this one's an exciting one because .NET MAUI preview 10 was featured at the .NET Conf keynote. .NET Conf is the .NET conference from Microsoft and the .NET Foundation and the community that happens every single year. And this year .NET 6 launched and beside it, the brand new preview of .NET MAUI. And I got to work on with an amazing team of individuals the keynote demo application that I'm going to show off today. I mean, it's going to be open source and maybe by the time that you watch this video, so check the show notes below. But let's get into it because our good friend David had an amazing blog post talking about everything new in .NET MAUI Preview 10. But even before we go into that, let's go over to the .NET YouTube people because .NET Conf 2021 is happening and there's all sorts of amazing videos. Every time I refresh this page, new videos are coming up. Look at this. Alon talking about .NET MAUI Blazor. Ooh, I'm going to talk about it today. Ooh, Kendra with testing. Um, Miko with all the Roslyn amazingness. Minimal APIs. Oh my goodness. EF Core, ASP.NET, Component Blazor, Blazor Components, .NET MAUI Toolkit. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff in here. Mm, so good. Check it out. C Sharp 10. Ooh, C Sharp 10. I'm going to talk about some of that stuff today. But also head to the Visual Studio YouTube because... Also, Visual Studio 2022 launch, and there's amazing videos on VS 2022. You're going to want to watch all of these. Just binge all of them. It's your weekend. It's your week. It's everything. It's so great. Check it all out. But .NET MAUI, preview 10, people. That's what you came for. Now, what's cool about this is that Visual Studio 2022 launched. Now, if you've been following along with all my preview videos and testing things out ahead of time, you'll probably already have Visual Studio 2022 preview installed to up, and then you can update to Visual Studio 2022 preview 17.1. Now, if you haven't installed anything at all, David shows right here that the .NET MAUI workload that we see in the installer is part of the 17.1 preview. Since .NET MAUI is in preview, you need the preview installed, but you can have the full side-by-side -side install of 2019, 2022, the 2022 preview, anything you want, they're all there. So let's actually check that out really quick. Here it is, boom. Now, as you can see, I have 2019 side-by-side 17.1 -side preview one. I'm gonna hit modify. And all you need to do to install .NET MAUI is um, install the ASP.NET web workload if you wanna do the Blazor stuff. And then you'll also need the mobile.NET stuff here, see? And when you tap on it, you want to make sure that .NET MAUI preview is checked there. That's going to give you all the bits. And if you want to do Windows, make sure you install the Windows platform for development right there. I don't believe you need the C++ one anymore. I just have it just because we used to need it, but I don't think we need it anymore. There's no longer any additional um, extensions or anything like that installed. It installs everything for you, and you're good to go. Awesome. Now, also in the blog post, David talked a lot about some new handlers, which are really cool. I'm going to show those off today. There's a whole bunch of release notes over here, but collection view and indicator fully updated and optimized vertical text alignment, text transform also updated all sorts of goodness here. Look at those monkeys. I'm glad my monkey data is back and it's being used and it's beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. I just, I just absolutely love it. Anyways, there's a bunch of stuff in there. That's pretty much it. Really straightforward. But there's all sorts of goods. Look at all these amazing things that are happening here. Now, I will say this. Um, my, my update that I had, which was about the templates, didn't quite make it in this release. But hopefully next time um, we'll get it in and get it going. But let's talk about .NET Conf because at .NET Conf Keynote, the .NET Podcast app, was shown off. And this is the app that I got to work on with an amazing team of individuals from my team, from the product team, from an amazing company called Plain Concepts that we work with often to test out and build awesome demos and things like that um, as well. So this was a fun one because it's a podcast app and I'm a podcaster. Oh, there's my podcast. I wonder who came up with this data uh, inside of here. It's just really, really stunning application for both web and desktop and mobile. So here's the Windows app. Here's the Android application. And if I was to go and pull up the browser, we could actually go over here and actually here it is right over here, right on the browser, which is pretty cool. All right. Um, that's a Blazor application, which is really, really neat. 
Okay. So what do we want to do in this application? Well, it's a podcast app. So I can go check out podcasts. I can tap on episodes. I can listen to it later and go check it out over here. Here's the Maui one. I'm subscribed to it and go over here and check it out for my subscriptions. I can search for episodes. I can go into settings. I can do light mode, dark mode. Um, I can listen later if I save stuff, which is cool. Um, over here, I can check my subscriptions. I can unsubscribe. I can uh, resubscribe to something else. Let me just resubscribe to the Down in Maui podcast. Great podcast over there. Um, all the good stuff that you would uh, um, imagine, right? And there's light mode and dark mode. So you can toggle the modes if you want, which is really cool. And additionally, there is a really, really cool mode that I'm going to show off here called Listen Together. So what's neat about this is I'm going to go ahead and open a room over here on the web app. I'm going to go into listen to uh, gather over here. What's cool about this view is I say Windows. I'm going to say join. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say uh, Android. Hit join. And now I can actually listen to this podcast with all of my friends across the different browsers. So if I hit play over here, it's going to start playing on all of the different outlets. I'm listening to it right now. And we can actually see that I can send emojis between all of the different, um, all of the different, this is my favorite part, they're listening together inside her, between all the different browsers and stuff like that. So it's really cool. We can see what we're listening to. We can check out the, the native playback and it pauses and it rewinds and does all this stuff, which is cool. When I'm done, I just leave the room. And that's all powered by Signal R in the back end, which is really, really neat. So that is the .NET podcast app. Like I said, it's going to be open source. So you can check it out across uh, Blazor and .NET MAUI and also the back end services, which are powered by Minimal API, Signal R, Worker Services, and the brand new Azure Container apps too. Um, this is the application. It's pretty spectacular, though. I love it. Um, and this is that discover page. So if I go to this uh, discover page here, this is what that is right there. And what I wanted to show off is that they're using uh, or using in this application reusable controls. So we have a header view up top here. So we actually like look up top here. This is this header view. And if I go into the um, controls, we can see I have a header view here that has on platform. So it shows different on desktop versus mobile, which is really neat. Um, then in the middle, we have a big collection view of grouped podcasts. Um, it's using vertical um, spans and rows and based on phone, tablet, desktop shows different amount of items. Then we have this data template, again, reusable items like I talked about earlier. Here's the show item view. And again, this is using grids and labels to display the information. And then we even have grouped headers. So again, we've covered this in a lot of my .NET, MAUI, and Xamarin 101 videos. And then the player down here at the bottom and the player actually uses native playback on the different platforms when things are playing. So if I go into the platforms folder and actually go into the audio service, we're going to see that we're going to have Android media, you know, we're going to have um, is playing instances of it. If I go into Windows. There's an audio service there that it's it's talking to and playing back audio natively on each platform with different integrations, which is really cool. It's going to have all the things that you know and love. So if I go again into the resources, we have fonts like Sego UI, all the images, SVG and PNGs, string ResXs, styles that are in here, and even our splash icons are all inside of there, which is really, really neat. Now for that control, actually what's cool is that the Blazor components are all being brought in here. So if I go into the Maui program, what we'll be able to see is that one, it's using all the brand new C-sharp 10 features and global usings. Look at all those global usings, including, including MVVM helpers. Oh, and don't forget we got that monkey cache in there. Um, but what we can see is that we have our app builder and it's using Xamarin Essential or Donnie Maui Essentials, I should say. Um, it's configuring different services and registering the Blazor Maui web view. So what's nice about that is that you can mix and match as much or as little Blazor as you want in there. And if I go into my listen together page, we're going to see that here is my Blazor web view component, which is pulling in and it's even dynamically themed, which is really, really neat. Um, again, it has a player in here. So this is cool. This is mixing and matching 
both the Blazor web view and that player control. So on the web, it uses the web player, and then on the native platforms, it uses the native platform player, which I think is just super duper neat. What else do I want to show off in here? Talked about the global usings, which I think are really neat. Uh, inside of here, we can see it's the same good old stuff that we're used to, application ID, version number, supported platforms. And then of course, it's just using some popular packages like extensions, HTTP, monkey cache, file store, MVVM helpers, the things that you know and love. Um, and that's pretty much it. And here's some ResX files that, that are inside of there. Now, of course, you'll be able to explore this more once it is out on GitHub. I'm working with that team now. So even by the time you watch this, it might already be out. So definitely give it a look if you head over to the, um, the GitHub page that I'll put in the show notes whenever it's available. And also check out the .NET blog because I will be putting a post over there. Well, that's going to do it for this sort of walkthrough of all the new hotness that is inside of .NET MAUI Preview 10. It's one click away to get started. And of course, even inside of that blog post, David talks about all the newness um, coming in migration wizards and of course the roadmap too. So definitely check that out. And again, I'm gonna put all the links down there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, pow, 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 pow. And then of course, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So I put out videos every single week here on my YouTube. Um, and of course, I'm gonna get back into streaming. I'll figure that out, but you can always check me out at twitch.tv slash James Montemagno and for all my blogs, montemagno.com. But that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you so much for walking, watching, and I hope that everyone has an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. I'll talk to you later. Peace.